Hey class, it's Mr. Jorgensen coming to you from my own backyard. In fact, from my wife's garden here, which isn't quite planted yet because it's still April. Um, however, if we did have a nice tomato from the garden, we'd be pulling that out of the garden to eat for dinner tonight maybe. And we talked already about chemical energy being a form of energy that's stored in material uh, like fruits and vegetables. So this tomato here is a great form of chemical energy that's stored up waiting for us to eat it. And if we had this on a salad tonight, then when we digest that chemical energy, it changes to a new form of energy in our bodies. And that energy you'll learn about in seventh grade. However, it is something that we use to do work when we're running track, playing soccer, riding a bike, or in tonight's case, shooting a bow. So come on over here and I'll tell you about how this energy is transferred. So I've got my bow here tonight to show you a little bit about what we've been talking about with class. And uh, compared to the picture that we saw in class, I'm not shooting with my feet. However, I am shooting with my hands here to show you uh, the two new types of energy we learned about, which was potential energy and kinetic energy. And so we have just a normal hunting bow here. And what we're gonna do is as I pull the bow back, I'm gonna be pulling with mechanical energy in my body to use that I use from the chemical energy of the food I ate. So I have a snack inside here. I've got energy in my body, I'm ready to do work. And so when I pull this bow back, I'm pulling back with energy and now I'm in potential energy. This bow has a potential to do work. It's in a position where I can release it and it will uh, transfer into kinetic energy. So when I pull up my bow here and I get on my mark, and we're shooting at that deer about 30 yards away, we've released that potential energy into kinetic energy. So the energy of that bow that it shot the arrow is equal to the energy of me putting the work in here at potential energy. We can't create energy, we can't destroy energy, it's only transferred. So that bow, when it hit the target down there, transferred into the target, the target wobbled, we had a little bit of mechanical energy, you heard a little bit of sound energy from the bow when it was released, and maybe you heard the sound when it hit the target. Energy is always moving and flowing, never created or destroyed, that's the conservation of energy. This is Mr. Jorgensen from my own backyard, get outdoors and explore.